The Husqvarna YTH 1854 2 42 inch or the Cub Cadet XT1 Enduro Series LT 42 inch tractor mowers. That's what we'll be choosing today. There comes a time in every man's life when he realizes that his trusty lawnmower is just crap. Desperation and turmoil twist around his frontal lobe, neurons backfire like his failing mower engine, and he inevitably finds himself in a big box store, pondering a purchase that costs more than his first three cars combined, all in the name of cutting grass. And this is where our story begins. After a fair amount of research, there are two mowers we're considering, the 42-inch models of the Husqvarna and the Cub Cadet. Both are solid brands, both are equivalent in size and price, but we need a closer examine the difference in value and practical functionality for our needs. The Husqvarna is a Swedish brand and produced in the United States. It has a very curvy European look. This particular mower sports a carbureted Briggs & Stratton 18.5 horsepower single cylinder engine. It has a changeable oil filter which seems more common on these larger engines. The oil plug is located on the side of the engine and it appears that on this model you have to somehow remove this panel to gain clear access. Uh, this will probably add another step to the process if you're a do-it-yourselfer. The spindles on most of these lawnmowers are sealed and non-serviceable, meaning there is no way to grease them. This was a large failure point on my older mower. My hopes are that these parts have evolved since then. The deck is a 13 gauge stamp steel and is equipped with a washout port and anti-scalp wheels but it looks like only up front. Hello, and thank you for considering one of our lawnmowers today. Some of the competitors offer these on the back of the deck as well. Our 48-inch model has anti-scalp wheels on both sides of the deck. Are you talking to me? Yes. Did you know that the particular model you're looking at has an air induction technology mowing system? Who, who are you? I'm Liz Lita, and the spindles you referred to are also known as mandrels. Mandrels? The, the jaws of an insect? No. Those are mandibles. Please check our garden center for more pest control measures. Uh oh. Uh, anyways, up front are the headlights, and take note that these are the older incandescent style. The axles are heavy cast iron and seem to be rock solid. Around back we have the freewheel control, or otherwise known as the bypass rod. This unlocks the transmission so you can freely maneuver the mower around your garage or shed by hand. Let's jump on for a moment and take a look at the dash and controls. Note that there is no cruise control on this machine. This means the operator will have to keep their foot steady on the pedal throughout the mowing session. This isn't a big deal for uneven terrain with obstacles or smaller lawns, but on larger lawns this feature is more important. For cruise control, please check our 46 inch model. Uh, uh, thank you, Lowe's Lita. Uh, there is no hour meter. This isn't a big deal because you can buy these things for about $15 on Amazon and throw them onto any small engine. Our 46 inch model also has a built in hour meter. Uh, uh, thank you, Lozlita. My lawn won't accommodate a 46 inch mower due to some of the tight terrain and obstacles. My yard is very uneven and has many side hills. I'm concerned about safety, so I'm trying to get a feel for the profile height. The machine feels as though it would be fairly stable. The manufacturer's site indicates that it is suitable for hilly terrain. Note the drive pedal. The larger front one is the forward and a variable rate accelerator control, while the smaller rear one is for reverse. This allows the operator to quickly change mowing direction and it's a feature I'm rather excited about. The Cub Cadet likes to emphasize that they have been made in America for decades. And just look at this design. It distinctly has that all-American bold styling with the squared off lines and loud yellow color. I was originally concerned about the Cub Cadet having a larger center of gravity and it still may, but all the height looks like it's just lightweight plastic. The styling features of this mower are truly ahead of the competition. These headlights are LED instead of the traditional incandescent. This means that they will probably not dim much, if at all, at low throttle speed opposed to the older style lighting. The axles are also rock solid on this unit and come with a 5 year warranty just like the Husqvarna. The deck is made out of stamped 13 gauge steel just like the Husqvarna as well. Note that there are actually anti-scalp wheels on both the front and rear of the deck. It also has a washout port. Did you know that this KS540 Kohler engine is made in America? Just like this mower with deep American roots. Uh, wait, wait, let me guess. You're here to help me make my selection? Absolutely. Home Daddy is always here to help with your home style. Uh, Alright, anyways. The engine is an 18 horsepower Kohler single cylinder model. The plug looks like to be in a good position without any obstructions. Also note that this engine has an oil filter. Coming around the back side, here is the transmission bypass rod. Let's jump on and take a closer look. We can see that it has the same forwards and backwards operation as the Husqvarna. In fact, uh, both these units have the same hydrostatic transmission. Note that this machine has the hour meter built in. It also has cruise control, which is set by this combination brake cruise lever. The seat is comfortable, and I like that it has good back support. It also is easily adjustable. Feels like a sports car, doesn't it? Well, it kind of feels like a lawnmower, actually. 
Yes, but this lawnmower can really whoop some grass. Um, okay. The steering wheel on this unit is supposed to be an improvement compared to traditional riding mowers. It has a 16 inch turning radius, which seems to be pretty standard now, but amazingly tight compared to what I'm used to. So which one do I choose? They both seem like solid machines with solid reputations and they are both miles ahead of where I started. What you need is Swedish engineered precision from a company that's been around since the Middle Ages. Come on, son. Choose a company that's older than you are. Y yeah, that's not hard. How old do you think I am? Can you see me? The Husqvarna Group has been around since the 1600s. Make your great 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 grandfather proud and choose a company that probably made the firearm he shot his first meal with. Uh. Did you know that Cub Cadet is an American company? They're brash and bold, just like your grandfather. Look at it, it looks like it's laughing. Don't you want to smile when you cut the grass too? Well... You should buy it because it's yellow. Oh, wait, don't don't you like orange? <clears throat> Assistance to the paint department. Mandibles. Mandrels? America. Okay, I have made my decision. since I've enjoyed mowing my grass. And with this purchase, it's made the experience great again. The steering is like butter, the seat is comfortable, and the accelerator is easy to operate. But most importantly, it's cutting my grass with ease. You know, I think both Husqvarna and Cub Cadet are great brands, and both will serve you well. But I'm happy with the Cub Cadet for now. Oh yeah, there is one more thing that I have to do to make this complete. Be sure to check out my other review and adventure videos. We'd love to have you as part of our community, so please hit that like button and share the video with your friends. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.